Now, Sri Lanka's energy minister has issued a warning to the island nation. Now, Colombo has few left for less than a day. That is, if regular demand continues. Last week, it announced a two-week halt to all fuel sales, except for central services to save fuel for emergencies. And as the fuel crisis continues, the country's national carrier may soon have to cancel flights. Sri Lankan Airlines is now bracing for potential cancellations of its flights until the 18th of July. According to reports, the jet fuel reserves in the country have already run out. In an advisory earlier, the Sri Lankan Civil Association Authority issued a notice to the airlines. They were asked to carry fuel for their return journeys. This is because Sri Lanka's oil and gas company failed to import the required jet fuel into the country. The daily fuel usage of Sri Lankan airlines is around 700,000 litres. This is only for the Colombo International Airport. However, the airport only managed to secure about 250,000 litres a day. It comes as Sri Lanka closes its school for one more week due to the fuel crisis. All governments and private schools will remain closed for one week starting Monday. The Lankan Education Minister urged schools to conduct classes online. And in the coming days, the fuel crisis is only set to worsen in Sri Lanka. Its next petrol shipment is not due for two more weeks. And even if it arrives, the island nation does not have enough money for the purchase. Sri Lanka could be the first country to ration fuel to its citizens since 1970s oil crisis. Currently, Sri Lanka is facing its worst economic crisis since independence. It can no longer afford to import essentials, including enough oil, gas to meet energy needs. In, in our way, it defaulted on its debts with international lenders for the first time in its history. The government is also in for talks with the International Monetary Fund for a bailout. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.